Meanwhile, River State Governor Yesam Wike says Dino Melaye, a spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party, PDP's presidential candidate, Atiko Abubakar, cannot be governor of Kogi State. Wike warned that the PDP would fail if Melaye emerged as the governorship candidate, addressing selected journalists in Port Harcourt, the state capital. Wike stressed that the former Kogi State West Senator lacked the capacity to govern the state. I mean, the, the, the mere fact that you are from Kogi, they are for any Kogi person. No, that's not the truth. This is what you do. When you are going for, you are talking about governors of a state. And we are not talking about drama. You know what we are talking about? We are talking about governors of a state. For Christ's sake, can you present such a candidate? And you mean that Kogi people want development? That can, you see, let us stop this idea that he yeah, is from Kogi. It's okay. Take, for example, anyone from Lagos State because uh, election is then uh, uh, Lagos people will not vote for him because from Lagos. I mean, you can't, that can be serious. Are you saying Dino doesn't have... Dino does not have what it takes for Christ's sake, for crying out loud. What is he going to do? Is that right? He knows me very well. He knows. What, he, what disqualifies him? He, do, he does not have what it takes to be a governor at all at all. It's not by coming to add drama on television. No, it's not that. It's not by coming to arrest to abuse the wicked. It's not that. It's not that. Look, I, I, look, ask Gino when he's saying we're running for governorship. Saraki brought him to me. Ask him. He knows what I'm talking about. He knows. How can you tell me such persons will be governor? In a swift reaction, a governorship aspirant of the People's Democratic Party, PDP in Kogi State, Dino Melaye, has fired back at Governor Yesam Wike of River State, who laughed off his aspiration to succeed Governor Yahaya Bello. In a statement on his verified Facebook page, Melaye said Kogi is not River State, where Wike determines who becomes governor, explaining that power belongs to God. Wike is a pretentious is a pretentious character, is a liar, and he has no integrity, no iota of integrity. Wike was calling me when Atiku Abaka was to announce his running mates. I have records and I've printed it out and I'm waiting for him. He called me 19 times in two hours, begging us to convince Atiku Abaka to make him the vice presidential candidate. So when I see him lying on TV, because of the south of this country, because of southern Nigeria, the thing of this to south, you that were loving us and begging us, promising us heaven and earth to convince Ajit Babaka to make you vice presidential candidate. To the extent that he was at the airport, I have a video. He spent hours in the airport waiting for me to call him to say, Ajit Babaka has a... He was at the airport here, waiting, waiting, calling me. He was calling me. My brother and friend, uh, who uh, were in the Senate together, was also calling me that day. I have witnesses. I even gave the phone to Abu Lingi to speak with him. I gave the, the phone to Senator Zamele to speak with him. He was begging all of us. Promise me everything that As you should announce him. It was around one or so that I told him about nobody would give you vice president. That was when he left and then flew back to. So the man was so desperate to be vice president. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.